and it's about 20 past one and that's the last, last stretch you might just see the green roof St. Clair hut through the branches there and here we go last stretch This might be part of the escape route. Home sweet home, for today at least. And some people are moving out already. Here's room number one. Triple bunk beds on the one side. And triple bunk beds on the other side. And here's the view out the window. Somebody's talking about pizza. And here's the fireplace, under roof fireplace. And here's the Outside backyard fireplace. Moving around to room number two. Yep. Same deal. Triple bunk beds. Triple bunk beds. And view out the window. And this is a new extension since I've last been here. Indoor plumbing. Yeehaw. Well, toilets and basins at least. No showers. And that's the view from the porch looking out over the sea. Alright, I think that's it for today. Good morning everybody. It is 2018, December the 9th. It is about quarter to seven in the morning. And that is what sunrise looks like today. Okay, it's just about 8 o'clock, we're setting out for the second and last day of the Hockerville Coastal Hike, and there we go. It is about 20 past 8, and here's our first marker along the way. This is the red cycle route, the red bike route, that's not accessible at the moment due to the fire damage of last year. Coming from that side and going over the hill and that's the way we're going. It's about 
2529 and here's our next marker and going uphill. It's about quarter to nine and coming up that hill is a bit tricky. The path isn't all that clear but if you just come come up straight enough you should find this next marker and then follow the road ahead. Don't turn to the left, rather go up the hill as the footprint indicates. Right, it's about 10 to 9. Here's our next marker. There's some roads coming from the left. Looks like a uh, red cycle route again. I don't know what that is. And here we go. Downhill. Good. It's just before nine o'clock. Um, and we've come across a nice little stream. Ooh, that looks like a path. Let's see where it goes. Oops. Oh, it doesn't go too far. It's about 10 past 9. Here's our next marker. <laughs> Not that way. That way. Oh, there's a gate. Hmm. Just a couple of paces beyond the gate. It's about ten past nine. Here's our next marker. Seventeen versus sixteen. Alternative southern loop. Hmm, with a viewpoint apparently. No problem. We decided to take the alternative southern loop. And this marker is at just about quarter past nine. It's quite a wide landscape all around. That's the way we've come. And then following the marker to the right. And there we have a nice view. That's a couple of paces down the way from the turn off. And I can hear something screaming in the background on the opposite cliff where I've come from. First one sounds like a human, and the next one is definitely a baboon. And now that I want to record them, they're quiet. 
Oh well. Yeah, it's about half past nine. Johan and I jog down to the viewpoint. The rest of our party are still waiting on the turn off. Um, there's a rugged coastline for you. This is the view about directly south. And then towards the east. That's the road we jog down. tree line and the road intersect that's where our party is waiting so it's uh, I don't know about 200 300 meters at most and there's Teresa coming on as well going around and that's the valley that we've walked around this morning but it's surprisingly short compared to the original route the original Hockerville came along the coast, dropped down the cliffs, and you had to navigate and negotiate your way across the rocks, and then up the incline, up the hill on the other side, eventually. Okay, it's about quarter to ten. We've ended our break. That's the way we've come. This is where we've parked. That's the viewpoint. And turning around towards the east. east. Well, that's the way we're going up the hill. Yeah, it's just about ten o'clock. And there's our next marker. Um, are quite a few old forest roads here amid the, the old pine plantations. Um, they've all been burned down now with the fires of last year. That's the way up, up the hill. And this is the way we've come. There are a couple of intersections across the road. Just keep walking straight. And uh, until you hit this marker and turn right. That's about five past ten. A couple of paces down the road and uh, there's the next marker. Don't turn right. Follow the bend. Don't turn left either. that way. That seems to be one of the bike routes. 